In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up work sharing inside of Revit. So if you don't know, work sharing allows you to, well, share your work, which means that you can share your Revit model with your colleagues and all of you can work on that one model at the same time. Let's go. Now quickly, before we jump into Revit, I would just like to ask you to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com. I'm going to link it up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. If you're serious about learning Revit, that's definitely the best place to be with over 140 hours of content dedicated to solving all of the complicated but also interesting topics inside of Revit. Okay, so with now, without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And here, as you can see, I have this office building project. This is actually part of my course on my website where I show you how to uh, design a complicated building such as this one. But now let's set up work sharing so my colleagues and I can work on it at the same time. So what you want to do is you want to go here to the collaborate tab and then you go to collaborate. This is going to open up the collaborate window and then here you can set up, do you want to have this collaboration within your own network or on the cloud? Now, in this case, I have Google Drive set up uh, on all computers so we can just collaborate on our own network. So I'm just going to click OK and that's going to uh, start up the uh, work sharing. Now, what you want to do next is you want to save that file at any specific location on that drive or server so everybody can have access to that file. So I'm just going to go here to file, then go to save as, and then go to project. Here I found a file location, so I'm just going to rename this project building central. And then you just want to hit save. And now we have set up uh, this collaboration. Uh, now, what you want to do next is you can explore the work sets. So if I open up work sets here, you can see that I'm the owner. And then here we have the editable and it's set to yes for both of these work sets. Now, if I set this to no, what you'll notice is that there will no longer be an owner. And that's actually good because I want pretty much everybody to have the ability to edit anything inside of model, well, at least at this point. So if I set this to no, that means I'm no longer the owner. So it's not like only I can edit the model, everybody can edit the model. Okay, so now I'm just going to okay out of that. And then I'm going to exit out of this file. So now as you can see, we have that saved office building project central. And you can see this little icon here indicating that this is a shared file. So now if I click again on this, it's going to tell me that this is a shared file. This is a central model uh, and I'm just creating a copy of that model. I'm not actually opening up the central file. I'm just creating a copy and that's okay. I'm just going to click okay. It's going to open that up. There we go. Uh, now, if you're not sure where that copy is saved, you can always go here to the file menu, open up the options, and then here under, under file locations, you can see that we have the path for user files and it's set to desktop. So in this case, I've, I've set it to desktop. You can change it by going to browse. But basically what this does is when you open up a central file, it's going to create a local file at this particular file location. So now this is saved on my desktop. Now I'm just going to OK out of this menu and now let's start working on our local file. So let's say I want to add an additional building over here so I can just go to walls and then let's go from ground floor to second level and then I'm just going to create uh, just some extra walls here. So whenever you make a change to your own local file, you have to now reflect this or update this to the central file. And for that, you need to go back here to collaborate. And then you can go to synchronize, synchronize now. And now those changes are being synchronized to that main or central model. Uh, now also you have the option to relinquish all mine. So what that means is I have created something new. This is now mine. And if I want to allow my coworkers to edit this, which I have created, I need to click on relinquish all mine and then they will now have the ability to uh, edit these elements here.
Uh, now let's go back to work sets here. So if I click on work sets, uh, obviously we have the ones that were kind of created by default, but I can create new work sets. Let's call this one walls and then click OK. Now here I'm the owner of this work set. And if I now click OK, uh, yes. Uh, now uh, my active work sets is uh, work set is walls and if I select these walls here uh, what they can do now is I can go to the properties panel and here what you'll find is we have work sets or work set and it's set to work set one I'm just going to change it to walls and then hit apply so now we have changed what or which work set this belongs to. So what that means is that here, if I turn on gray inactive work sets, it's going to show me that this is only inside of my work set. And that means that here, if I go back to work sets, only I can edit the walls because editable is set to yes, and I'm the owner. So now I have kind of taken back control of these walls, uh, which I have created. And I'm just going to okay out of that menu. And then here we can switch in between other work sets. And as long as you have this toggled on, it's going to show kind of gray uh, what's inactive and what you're not going to be working with. So you can only concentrate on your own work set. And then uh, you also want to make sure that you kind of stay up to date in terms of the synchronization. So whenever you make some changes, you can synchronize that. And then you can also reload the latest uh, if somebody else has perhaps made some of the changes uh, to this central model. Also, you want to hit the save icon also to save the changes to your own local file. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this and yeah, it's going to ask us, do, do we actually want to keep uh, ownership of this or we want to relinquish ownership of these elements and work sets. And let's say I want to relinquish that. So I'm just going to pick that option. And now we have exited out of that model. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what to do in a situation where uh, you're not the owner of a work set, you're not the ones creating the central model, but somebody has shared a model with you and you just want to start working with it. So what I'm going to do is go here to open. And then here I have this project uh, work sharing office building. My colleague set this up on her computer. So now I want to open this up. You can see that down here we have this option create new local. So it's telling me, yeah, it's going to create a new local file and then I can just hit open and that's going to open up that uh, file. Now, once this is open, I can go here to file and then save as uh, or to or actually just save because uh, it has already created that file on that path, which I have mentioned before. So here in the options under file locations, it's here on my desktop. Uh, so anyways, now here I can start making changes and then I can just continue and make sure that I synchronize the model. Uh, I reload the latest changes, so on and so forth, exactly like I would if I was the one creating the file and then later on working in my own local file. And then also I can export Explore the work sets here. As you can see now, the walls uh, work set here, for example, all of them are available for me to, to work with. Uh, and I'm just kind of playing around with this file. So there we go. That's how you use our work sets inside of Revit. That's actually just kind of the quick start how to set it up. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you want to get access to all of my Revit project files like this office building project file over here, you can find all of that on my Patreon page, which I'm going to link up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content, uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.